Covering Clay County, two people are dead after an experimental helicopter crash and caught on fire on private property in Clay County. The Clay County Sheriff's Office says that the pilot and passenger were the ones that died in that crash. Now, the aircraft that they were flying in is known as a gyrocopter. Well, it went down in the Melrose area. You see the map there. Tonight, I talk with News for Jack's aviation expert, Ed Booth, who says the investigation into the crash could take up to three years. Two people are dead after a crash involving a homemade gyroplane in Clay County. Alexis Kelly was outside when the aircraft crashed. I heard something just like the engine cut above me and I look up and I couldn't really see so I ran to the top of the road and it, it was just, it was done for, it was gone. Probably five seconds tops, it was going down. Her grandmother called 911 and later they learned that no one survived the crash. It happened in the Keystone Heights area. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth says the FAA will be investigating immediately. He believes weather was not a factor. They are known to be very safe, docile. They are always in a state of auto rotation. So if the engine quits, you are set up to make an emergency landing in a small area. Booth says the gyrocopter is a cousin to the helicopter, but it's rarely seen. Its rotor is not powered by the engine. It's a freewheeling device and generates lift. However, it's very intolerant of parts failure. There are a lot of moving parts in the rotor system, in the system that controls the rotor pitch and the failure of a single bolt can be fatal. According to Booth, gyroplanes are inspected annually, like most small planes. For now, the names of those who died in the crash have not been released. The NTSB will have to determine what caused this unfortunate and deadly crash. Booth said though this was an experimental aircraft, they're still considered safe.